Hey guys and welcome back to my channel where I show you how I edit my photos and today we will edit this into this. I know it's been like uh, one and a half year ago since I uploaded my next my last video. Uh, I will try to upload more and more when there is time. Okay, as usual, I provided a link in the description where you can download the raw files, the DNG files, so you can copy along. Just remember they're copyright, so don't sell them or anything. With further ado, let's just jump right into it. So here we have Mr. Papa of Ghost and two of his nameless ghouls. What I want to start with is dragging up the exposure like this, up with some shadows, drag down the blacks like this, maybe put some clarity to the photo to make it look a bit more crisp. Don't be modest with it. In this photo, don't be modest. Otherwise, clarity can brighten up the photo a bit too much, add some noise and just make it look too sharp and a bit too rocky. I also want to drag up the dehaze to remove some of the smoke that comes in from the sides. Okay, now when I'm gonna apply some contrast, I will actually go down to the S curve, which is one of my favorites. I'm gonna show you why. I will put some medium contrast on the photo, remove this delete control point, drag this one up just to make it look a bit washed out. It's a style that I applied to almost all my photos a couple of years ago and uh, now I started finding my way back there again. I know it's not for everyone. So drag down the blackness a bit and maybe up with some highlights and then you see that his face is getting blown out. But right now it's pretty acceptable for Instagram but not for you who are editing. That's why we're going to create a new mask by pressing this one, select subject, amazing, it will mark the subject we want and we're pressing invert to work on the background. As you can see, the background is pretty blue. So let's just put some warmth to it and you can see, look at the windows, uh, look at the spotlights. It's amazing. I really love this tool. It's a game changer. Anyway, we'll drag up some uh, magenta as well. Maybe you think now that you're satisfied with the photo. No, you're not satisfied with it. That's why we're going to create a new mask. So we select subject, we select Papa, and we give him some warmth. Maybe some magenta as well. You know, let's drag up some shadows on him as well like that. See, it's the it's the it's such a subtle changes. Also here you can see it makes the whole photo. But now as we can see his face is a bit blown out. So what we're going to do now is select a brush, create new mask, brush, and we're going to paint over his hair like this and the area that is blown out and then we drag down the highlights not too much because it's gonna he's gonna look dirty then just drag them down a bit and then we'll see what happens it's the subtle changes that counts okay so what more can we do with this photo we can straighten it out by pressing the crop tool and then like that i think we are basically done with the photo. So let's see what it looked like before and after. Okay, so let's go to ghoul number one. And what I want to do is copy the settings from this photo. So that I do by uh, pressing Command C. And uh, if you want to, copy the masks as well. Maybe we will use them, maybe not. This is a thing I do to save time, especially when I come home from a concert late at night and I'm tired, I just want to eat candy, you know, but uh, the more I take my time to edit, the more candy I eat, the more I need to go to the gym the day, day after, blah, 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 blah. So let's just, let's just paste the settings on this one. And I would say it already looks really, really good. 
but we can always improve. So let's drag up the contrast a bit, maybe also the exposure, so we can see all the nice details. Up with the shadows, maybe we'll drag down, drag down the blacks. We can drag down the clarity as well. It doesn't need to be super sharp, this one, not like the first photo. So let's just crop this one, maybe here and here. So before, after, super easy. We have the settings from the first photo and now we're gonna press Command V, voila. What I wanna do is add some contrast, drag down some exposure, drag down some highlights because it's pretty blown out here. I want to drag up some shadows, maybe down with the clarity, like this. What we could do is uh, add some more color, vibrance, up with the vibrance a bit. What happens if we make it a bit warmer? Hmm, it works, maybe a bit magenta, like that. Okay, okay, I see. Should we do something here? Drag it down the blacks again, up with some highlights. Okay, now I'm just doing some minor, minor adjustment. I was happy with it like a few adjustments back. So we have the first one here, before, after. Second one, before, after. Third one, before, after. Perfect. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. And uh, until next time, hey, dog.